Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Praveen Kumar Sriram. I am a Microsoft Certified Trainer working as a Solutions Architect in Azure. Today we are going to learn how a communication can happen between modules using a new concept called Outputs. So far, we have two modules which are being called by main. The first module creates app service plan, app service web app, and app insights. Mate, module one creates three services, and module two creates two services, SQL Server and a SQL database. So today I would like to remove app insights from module one because I would like to create a module 3 which is exclusive for App Insights. Now when you have App Insights within module 3, it generates an output because in order to link App Insights with Web App, we need to have an instrumentation key. Now today in this video, we are going to learn how we can output the instrumentation key from module 3 which can, be, which can be received by main module and in turn can be passed as an input parameter to module 1 so that we can create an app setting within app service web app which is required to link with the application insights. All right, let's head over to Visual Studio Code to achieve this functionality. All right, let me create one more module. I will name it as 4.appinsights.bicep. And now we need to pass the app insight related code to this file. So let me go to this file and grab all the required things for app insights. Let me cut this, paste it here, so this file looks good now, save it and there are errors in app service plan dot bicep, we need to fix them. So because we have moved the resource of app insights, it is throwing an error, right, so now what we need to do is we need to add a parameter for instrumentation key. So let me create a parameter and name it as instrumentation key, which is again a string. Now let me use this here. Now the error is gone, but the story doesn't end here because the first thing is app insights should output the instrumentation key. So all right, let's create an output parameter. So just type output, choose this. You like to output instrumentation key. I'll name it as, I'll prefix it as I will prefix it with O so that we understand that it's an output and then instrumentation key whose data type is string and the value that should be assigned is az bicep app insights dot 
that's the resource name right dot properties dot instrumentation key so now once the execution of this module is complete it returns the instrumentation key as output so whoever is calling this bicep file they will get the instrumentation key as output from this module in our case main dot bicep is invoking this module so main will be able to receive this as output now main module should pass that instrumentation key to the app insight module so let's first create the required code for invoking the app insight module app insights select the app insight bicep file name and then say required properties and now we need to pass what value that you would like to pass to this parameter so this app insight expects a parameter the parameter is the name of the app insight so we need to create a parameter and assign a value inside main as we did it for other resources so let me grab the variable details and like other variables let me provide the name for app insights in fact we already have it so i can safely remove this so i can use this variable here which will be passed as input to app insights now we are good here so this piece of code will execute the app insight module and it will create the app insight resource now we need to pass instrumentation key to this module so let me delete this because we no more create app insights from this module so we need to pass instrumentation key colon now grab this symbolic name because that module outputs so choose the output collection here and then this is the output variable that app insight module will output so now main dot bicep is able to grab the output variable from app insight module that's how main module works as an orchestrator it can receive the outputs of one module and passes them as inputs to other module let's save this and execute it is running now it will take some time i'll come back once it is complete all right it almost done it has created app insights and app service web apps so now let's look at the deployments right now two deployments are happening now if you see this there was a new deployment called app insights it's because we have a new module which is exclusive for running app insights so the module execution is complete and you can see app insight getting created here now let me open app service to see whether the required app setting is created or not when navigating to configuration we should be able to see a key called app insight underscore instrumentation key which has the value of our app insights instrumentation key 
that's how the communication between modules is possible with the help of output parameters that's it for today we'll come up with another interesting topic in the upcoming video till then bye bye thank you